Oh my god! Yes, it is time, finally, to review a Jojo figure. Uh, warning, this video will contain genuine enthusiasm and excitement because I love Jojo. Um, I got into it actually quite recently. Um, and it has quickly become one of my favorite, like, properties of all time. I, I just love it, man. It's just, it's so fun, and it's so goofy, but at the same time is also really badass. And Joseph Joestar is my favorite character. Uh, part 2 is my favorite part, um, part 3 closely behind. And while Part 2 Joseph is currently not really available, I got Part 3 Joseph because I am not complaining. And what can I say besides this figure is amazing it's way better than i expected it to be and uh for being my first uh medicos uh super action statue why did i say that <laughs> like a, why did i say that with a spanish accent um being my first medicos super super action statue figure uh i am definitely not disappointed so here's his box joseph joestar and iggy uh, and I'll talk about that, because I'm believe it or not, I'm kind of not happy they just packed Iggy in with Joseph, because I feel like he should have been his own release. Uh, but yeah, there's the figure on the side with the awesome, almost like, almost Egyptian-looking art, for obvious reasons. Then you can see, it's, oh man, this, this figure is amazing. There's all the accessories. I love it. Uh, was it worth, like, 70 bucks? Because <laughs> that's the thing! These figures aren't cheap! He was like $70. Uh, was he worth it? Yes, yes. Oh my god. Yeah, he was. Very much so. Um, I love him. So, <laughs> let's talk about some of his accessories. He has his Harmon! Uh, his, like, you know, his overdrive hands. If you want him to do an overdrive. Uh, <laughs> which he only did like twice. Um, so you have those hands. And I love how the ball pegs are different colors. Uh, because, you know, one hand is a real hand, and the other hand got card. Uh, but yeah, you also have fists if he just wants to punch something. You know, you have fists for each hand. And I love the shading, too. Like you can see on the other fists, they're just really nicely shaded. I really like that. And then you have a pointing hand, because that's the thing every JoJo character does. They point. They inevitably point at something. He also has his robot hand. Uh, I wish it came with a giant robot hand, but you can't ask for everything. Um, <laughs> really, really cool. Just, I, I love how they did give him at least one robot hand. Um, but yeah, there is those hands. And I'm just kind of going through all of them. And then you have this special hand, which is very important. Uh, because not only can this hand... Let's give him another hand, man. I don't want Joseph to just be one-handed again. That's not... I don't think he wants to relive that. Here, he also comes with grasping hands. So you do have a grasping hand right there, and you do have it for the right as well. So you have those. It's pretty much it for, like, his standard hands. But this hand can work to hold his hat, which is really cool. So you can hold his hat. But it's not just for that. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Uh, it's also to hold his spirit photos. So you have the first spirit photo from the show, which is, of course, a Dio, which I did. I might have ordered. He might, I might, I might have bought him. But yeah, there's a Dio right there. Look at that, that's so cool. This figure looks so great too. The paint is so amazing. And then, of course, in the second half, Dio's mansion. So there's that. Really love the spirit photos. And they're really nice quality too. Like they're, I don't know if they're plastic or something. And you do have a black back. Just in case you want it to be like undeveloped yet or something. Um, but you also have the camera that you can smash to get the spirit photo. But of course, you can't get spirit photos without a little bit of Hermit Purple. So of course, you get some Hermit Purple accessories. Um, and you actually get two uh, choices. So you have like the smaller Hermit Purple, which is really sweet. Um, I really do love these. They're really great. Um, definitely be careful with Hermit Purple itself because I did see once where like it came off of somebody's hand like a copy of their figure, a bit of Hermit Purple came off. You can probably just re-glue it. So yeah, you have smaller Hermit Purple, so he can look amazing. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's really good looking, too. I love the effect. And then, how was, how'd that one picture go? I'm trying to remember, there's like that one like promo image of Joseph, maybe from like the stand profile bits, where he looks something like that.
And you can also, he does come with longer versions. You can maybe take, oh no, they're tied together. Oh no. You can maybe take like one of the longer ones and like put it around his arm to make it look like Hermit Purple's kind of encompassing him a little more. That's really cool. They're pretty flexible, I will say. Hermit Purple's pretty flexible. But yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you also do have these bigger Hermit Purple hands, which are great. Um, honestly, I really love these. Just two big strands for that one. And that one's more, um, that one's more like circular, I guess. And this one's way more angled, which I really like. Um, so I guess, I guess you could have him like swinging with Hermit Purple, like he's Indiana Jones. Uh, <laughs> I love JoJo. Uh, but yeah, I love those Hermit Purple hands. But let's just give him, let's say, a fist and then... Let's give him this hand for now. Uh, now let's give him the pointing hand because he needs to he needs to point at things and go, holy shit! Uh, <laughs> but we also have a couple more accessories. You have his base, of course, which this is the smaller version. You have this, and you can put this adapter piece on it, uh, actually on this end, uh, which um, gives you a different angle, I guess. You can also put this adapter piece on it, uh, on this end, if you want it that for a reason. I actually don't know what this adapter piece is for. I actually don't. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Does it clip to the base? God, am I going to break it? I actually do not know what this other adapter piece is for. But, like, can you double? Oh, yes, you can. Yes. I Did it break it? I don't think so. Oh, yes. Awesome. I, oop. I think that's how it works. I think that's what that's for. I'm pretty sure. I'm really hoping I'm not breaking my expensive Japanese collectible right now. Because you have the display base, which is really nice. Honestly, this is one of the nicest display bases I've ever had on a figure. The joints are all nice and tight. I love it. But you can use this part of the base for his other figure he comes with. But one more accessory before we go on to the other figure. Got to pop the head off and give him, and I'll show this for the rest of the video, uh, a no hat head which is really nice. And he does have a different expression. Yeah, he is smiling this time and still looks really good. That head looks really good. And and because I'm not going to really show it again, there's the hat head. I am not going to lie. Uh, I do feel uh, a big omission is an oh my god screaming head. I feel like that really would have benefited. Because I think Dio comes with three heads. I don't know why Joseph didn't. Because he really... He should have had an oh my god head. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, that that looks really good. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it with Joseph Josta um, before we go into articulation. But his last accessory, I don't know, would you call it an accessory? Because it is its own figure. Um, you do get Iggy, uh, which is... I swear he stands fine on his own. I just was being lazy. Anyways, you do get Iggy, which is cool. It's cool that, you know, there is a figure of Iggy to get, but he should have been his own figure. He should have come with more than just two heads, because he does come with another head. He should have come with uh, a completely alternate arm, which you could just, like, pop and swap. Uh, he should have... He's so small, he could have just come with the Fool. Why didn't he come with his stand? Every Crusader in this line has their stand besides Iggy. Like, is, is Iggy not a full member of the team? Because he pretty much is. He had, like, his own episode arc. He was, like... Anyways. But, yeah, that's real unfortunate that he's just relegated to being an accessory. But still, he is really cool. Um, he does have some pretty good articulation. This is his post-getting-a-character head uh, from later on in the show. Or manga. Because they didn't... <laughs> this is also a manga art difference, too. Because when he was introduced, he looked like this. <laughs> and... Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever going to use this head. I mean, it's accurate. It's very accurate. I mean, this is the coffee-chewing-gum-devouring mutt we all know and love. Uh, but it's just... Come on, who would ever want to use that? Uh, this is a separate piece. This little bit of fur fluff. Looks kind of weird. Looks a little off. It's accurate to, like, his actual design. He does have that bit of white. Like, that is how he looks. But it just looks like a scarf. I don't know why. It just looks like a scarf on him. Uh, he does have an articulated tail, which I'd be very careful about because it's on a ball joint and you don't want to break it. Um, so definitely be careful with his tail. He does have swivels at his limbs. 
and you do have like pretty universal joint at the head there so you can do whatever you want to do but seriously you could have had like growling head you could have had like a head w from the old design with like chewing gum in his mouth it, it would have he should have been his own figure i'm just gonna leave it at that but he does have a hole on him because now i can have iggy I can't, <laughs> I can't say Iggy any other way. I don't even remember which character said it like that. Iggy. Um, but yeah, you can have Iggy like flying next to Joseph if you want. Because um, why not? He, it's, it's JoJo. We can have characters up in the air if we want. No, no biggie. So we've talked about the figure long enough and we haven't even talked about the figure. Uh, so his articulation, let's just get into it now. He has a swivel and a hinge at the upper part of the neck. He can't really look up too much, which is a shame because of the collar and all that. But he can look down well. He has a bit of a wibble wobble. Uh, he does have shoulder sleeves that can swivel, which is really, really good. Because it preserves the look while also allowing for maximum range of articulation. So shoulders can move up that far. They can move pretty much all the way around. And you can also like disguise the the joint with that shoulder sleeve if you want that's a really cool p bit of engineering um honestly really it's kind of what the black series stormtrooper did and that's kind of funny because i'll show him in a second but you do have kind of like an upper arm swivel i don't think he has a bicep swivel you do have a double jointed elbow which moves in really good you do also kind of get swivels with those joints but not really not really you get those really nice kind of uni universal hinges at the hands there his waist isn't too bad. You can get some range. It's not the worst. You can, you can kind of do that. Hips, oddly enough, the rest of the figure is really nice and smooth, but the hips, especially when I opened them, were kind of creaky. They've, they've kind of, you know, smoothened out after a while, but still, they were kind of like... Uh, honestly, the best comparison I can give to how this figure feels is like my Mafex Hush Batman. And if you watched that review, you would know that that was one of my favorite figures of all time ever. I love it. Um, so yeah, this Joseph's really good. His shoes are so blue. I love it. He's got these really blue shoes. Yeah, he's even got toe articulation. That's really good. So yeah, he is articulated to the teeth. You can see how he looks. Like, he looks gorgeous. He looks really good. He's got pretty much all the necessary details. He looks great. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's my review of um, Part 3 Joseph. Uh, my favorite character from JoJo. Uh, I love Joseph. I cannot be happier with this figure. I think it's pretty much perfect. Uh, there is one complaint I do have, though. It's not really the line's fault. It's more just, like, my expectation. He's a little smaller than I expected. Um, I don't know. He is a 6-inch figure, but he's not, like... A six inch figure as we know it domestically because as we all know everything's bigger in America uh, so like you you bring in like a Marvel legend here's the Bucky cat mold and you can see he's just proportionally size wise really small because if they would be in scale uh, Joseph here let's just kind of zoom out a little bit if they would be in scale it'd probably be about that because keep in mind Joseph is a big guy so is Jotaro uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then there it is with the Black Series Stormtrooper. I was kind of talking about the shoulders. They pretty much work in the same way, and I really like that. You can see there, not really in scale, but you can fudge it. But realistically, they'd be in scale. It'd be like that because, like I said, he's a big guy. So, and here he is. Here he is with a three and a quarter inch figure. In case you're like, oh, he's a little smaller. Maybe he'll scale with the. No. Uh, so that's pretty much it. There we have Old Man Joseph. Let me get him in the pose I was originally going to do. Uh, from Super Action Statue, uh, here's my review. I love him. I'm happy I was able to talk about JoJo in a video uh, without having an excuse. Uh, because, come on, it's, it's it's an actual figure from JoJo. And then you can get Iggy doing whatever next to him. I actually figured that out in the video, how the, the stand works. I'm worried how I get it stand. Because I... How does this stand work? I'm I'm losing my freaking mind. But yeah, I didn't actually know that that piece could clip on. So you can have Iggy also kind of floating around him. Because that, look at that. That's so cool. Yes. That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail right there. That is... Yes. Yes, please. I am in love. Okay, there we go. Here's my review of Joseph Joestar. 
great figure. I love him. I'm sorry for all the cringy JoJo references, but hey, it's I'm really passionate about this show, okay? I love it. If these things weren't super expensive, I'd have every single character they've made, but they're so expensive, and I really have to be selective right now. But someday I'd like all the Crusaders. Someday I'd like to get, like, at least every main JoJo, maybe, like, some of their Joe Bros. Uh, but, but we'll see. Uh, currently, I just know that it is a crime that we have not gotten a speed wagon or Zeppeli. Um, we got Caesar, but we didn't get, you know, his grandfather. So, yeah, that, that's a crime. Uh, there's just so many characters they've missed so far. That's kind of why I'd love a domestic JoJo line, where you could have multiple costumes. Like, the costume that Joseph had at the start of Part 3 and kind of the end of Part 2. Like, I'd love that costume. Maybe give him, like, an alternate head from, like, Part 2 and Part 3. That'd be cool. Uh, but... Yeah, I'd love different costumes for the characters, different versions. It'd be a good way to refresh them on the pegs. You could do all the enemy stand users. You could do various vampires. There's so much you could do with a full, fully-fledged JoJo figure line uh, that I feel like Super Action Statue just doesn't do because they're just more focused on getting out the main characters. And even then, they don't, they don't do them all. Like, we haven't gotten, you know, Lisa Lisa. We haven't gotten Stroheim. <laughs> you know, they're they're kind of falling they're 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 falling a little behind there. Um but we'll we'll see. Maybe someday they'll release those. Maybe someday we will get a fully fledged like Bandai of America, McFarlane, whoever, JoJo figure line. Um uh, for now I'm being selective with the super action statue, kinda of holding out for a more fully fledged line because JoJo is becoming increasingly popular, and perhaps with the inevitable release of the Part 6 anime, we may see some more merchandise from the show, because that would be great. And I keep saying show, and I'm sure, you know, elitists are like, actually, JoJo was originally a manga. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Arrivederci.